we all agree that setting up your own development environment is important, right? And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up your development environment to create your own API automation framework, right? If you're new to setting up your environment related to JDK, uh, IntelliJ, because we are using IntelliJ in this case. So stick to the end. I'm going to show you some little hacks and secret methods, which can definitely help you to setting up your de development environment as well as uh, help you a lot to create your own API automation framework, right? All right. So let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to the uh, 30 days of API testing with rest assured and uh, I hope you are following me on this journey and in this video, we're going to discuss about the setting up or our own API automation frameworks development environment and uh, we're going to cover how to do it in windows as well as on Mac, right? So uh, let's get started. And so the three things are important when we are creating your own API automation framework, right? The first thing is installing of JDK. And the second thing is the IntelliJ, which is the, which is a kind of an integrated development environment, or we call it IDE, right? And I'm going to show you how to create a new project, which basically we are, we are going to use a Maven project in that case. And in, in the next videos, I'm going to explain you about the little bit about the Maven also, right? So let's go step by step uh, before going on. We need to understand certain things about it. So let me show you what is it. So, uh, if you go to this uh, website, which is java.com slash en slash uh, download slash help the part dot XML, right? There is extensive information about how to set up your J JDK, which is a Java development kit, which we are using to your environment variable, right? If you, if you're on windows, Mac, Ubuntu, CentOS, right? Every instruction is already given. So if, if we talk about in windows, it's very much similar. What you need to do is that you need to download the JDK and put it into the path variable. So how you can do it, basically you can follow up this, uh, follow up this uh, process or step by step. Uh, basically what you need to do is that you need to uh, go to your my computer, right click, uh, go to advanced setting, add the environment variable. You need to add the JDK as the environment variable in that case. Similarly, you can do the same thing in the Mac also. But here Mac, most of the time when you are installing the JDK, it's automatically added to the path variable. So you don't need to do much of the, uh, like much of the instruction. You don't need to follow. But uh, on Linux, most of the time, if you do install by using open JDK or any other JDK, it will install to path also, right? But I will recommend you to follow up this uh, steps, right? If you have any doubt in that case, comment down below. I'll be happy to help you, right? Okay. So now we have installed the JDK, right? Which is a Java development kit that we needed, right? So let's go, let's go to IntelliJ. So let's uh, see which uh, IDE that we are going to choose, right? So we are going to work with the IntelliJ idea, right? And uh, you can download it. So I will recommend you download the community edition, which is enough for uh, development of our own API automation framework. You can just download it, right? So I have already installed it. So let me show you how it looks like. Right. So if we download it, we have, right. Uh, let me show you. So right now it's opening. And uh, so in this video, we, we are, we are going to create our new uh, Maven project as well as a hello project also, so that you can have a basic understanding, right? So this is the, one of the project that I have already created uh, with the rest assured. So let me show you, uh, the first screen is not look like this. So let me show you how this, the first string look like. Right. Uh, so this is how uh, when you downloaded the new IntelliJ, this is look like this. You can click on create new project, right? By default in IntelliJ, Maven, Gradle, uh, like uh, lots of building uh, frameworks or you can say uh, build frameworks, which basically we are using, right? Uh, they are automatically installed. So for this uh, API automation framework that we are creating, right? We are going to use the Maven, right? So pay attention and in the next video, guys, pay uh, uh, pay attention to this. In the next video, we are going to cover about the life cycle of a Maven project so that you can have understanding, right? I'm going to cover basics of test ng also so that uh, while creating the API automation framework, we, we are basically leveraging the Maven as a build, build system and test ng as our test uh, testing framework. So uh, we need to understand about the little bit framework, a little bit about the basics of it. If you have already uh, know about this, you can skip this part and directly go to the, uh, when we are basically starting with our rest assured, right? Uh, basic rest assured introduction, right? So, uh, if you're new, uh, you can basically select the Java version. So if you have already installed the Java, so right now I have 1.8 and 11, two versions of Java. I'm going to use the 11 version. You can use any latest version that you have. Uh, you can create or create from archetype. So archetype is a basically 
a pre-made uh, folder structures in Mavens, right? Uh, most of the time, what I'll do is that I'll just select the quick start. So there's a quick start in it. Let's search it out. Yes. So let's choose this one and click on next. Uh, let's name it as uh, hello world guys. Okay. And in the here, you can basically change to, for example, let, let me change to the scroll test.com. Right. Uh, so you have to write re in reverse. And uh, we're going to use build bundled with Maven 3. And we're going to click the finish button. Right. So if you see, it will take a little bit time. And after that, it will basically create. Uh, you can click on this enable auto import so that every time you add a dependency, uh, it will basically Im automatically import. So what is a dependency in Maven? Maven is basically a build system where, where you in the pom.xml, you put your dependency, right? If you need test ng, you can put into a dependency tab. So let me show you how it is. So right now we have added only J unit as a dependency, right? You can add test ng, which, 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 which is required for our API automation. Uh, you can add uh, rest assured. We're going to add rest assured, Jackson. We're going to add some JSON path libraries and many more, which are basically required for our automation, like POI library for working with Excel also, right? So we're going to uh, see in the next videos probably. So uh, in this video, let me show you what is the folder structure of this uh, project that we are using. So uh, by default, when you create your Maven project with quick, a quick archetype, you will have main folder and test folder, right? So in the Java folder, you can have scroll test and here you can have your uh, your basically uh, your class objects or the API automation different library folder structure. So I'm going to explain all the kind of a float structure in an upcoming video. But let's uh, do one thing. Let's run this project as of now so that we can have some uh, like introductory part. So let's uh, run it. So if you do right click on it, it will say hello world. It means everything works fine. Our project is working fine, right? So that's a task of this uh, video where we have to basically install the we basically right now we are ready with our own uh, development environment in the Mac, right? If you are ready on your windows, let me know in the comments that you are ready because in the next videos, we're going to start the practical one. We're going to go with get request, post request, put patch, delete. After that, we'll go with GitHub APIs and uh, after that, we'll be going to create our own automation framework with the patterns that we are using, right? All right. Uh, so let's see. Uh, yeah, you can add test ng. So test ng uh, in this project also. So let me show you how you can add it. You can go to this URL, and there is a dependency tab, right? Just you need to copy this. So I'm gonna make this project, and I'm gonna add the test ng dependency also. Right now, only the J unit is added. So make sure you add here between the dependencies, right? So I just added it. If you see, uh, it's already installed. Right. And uh, another thing that you can add is rest assured. You can go to this URL again and all the links are in the description guys. Don't worry. Uh, we're going to add rest assured also. So our project is ready. Uh, basically we have added all the dependency. Now we just need to write our hello world in rest assured to get getting started. Right. Before that, we're going to learn the Maven introduction of Maven and some introduction about the test ng also. Right. So let me, so, uh, let's let me want yeah so uh, i'll see you in the next video and uh, thanks a lot for watching till now and uh, see you in the next video and ultimately we meet again right yeah